Hello, everybody! Salty Sweet Ren, back here with another episode of the Pokemon Blaze Black Nuzlocke Challenge. A hack made by Dryana, who's made many other crazy Pokemon hacks in the past, all of which are pretty difficult, including this one. Because I think uh, two episodes in a row now Pokemon have died? Uh, I've got two or three. I don't know, I'm, I'm losing count. I Okay, Alphonse is dead. My, um, Alphonse is dead last episode. Episode before that, Ford died. And before that, Missy died. Three episodes in a row, yes. I am down to just two Pokemon. And they're both grass types. Ryu and Cornelius. So between these two, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. My hope is that, um, somehow they are strong enough that they will be able to make it through the upcoming gym, which is normal type gym. But I don't put it past um, the gym leaders who give their Pokemon unexpected moves. Meaning that if I were to face Lenora or Lenora or whatever her name is with Cornelius, my Nuzleaf, um, he could get killed. If her Pokemon have fighting type moves, yeah, that could be the end of Cornelius. So I'm gonna have to be very careful. But I have trained them both up to level 21, and I'm gonna hope that that's enough to get through this route. I'm gonna avoid the tall grass at the very least, especially this tall grass, because this is what killed Alphonse. And Ford, I think. I think it's what killed them both. Let's see, I just barely posted the one where Ford died. I still need to edit the one where Alphonse died. Hello. Even if Pokemon have not been fully trained, they can still they can show their potential depending on their trainer's style. Okay. Please don't kill me. School kid Marsha. Okay. Sing out a Pampy. Okay, grass types can easily deal with that. Oh, your Pokemon are only level 15. Okay, okay. I know better than to think, like, oh, it's gonna be nothing, but like. Okay, there goes the Pampy. A Whismur. Let's keep battling. Dealt with a few of those up in that cave. Uh, cut didn't quite do what I wanted. Oh well. I've been in that. I've been training in that cave for a while, and I keep forgetting what it's called. I want to say that it's Wave Echo Cave, but no, that's the cave from Dungeons and Dragons. I think specifically that's the one in the Adventure Zone. I don't know if that's what's still called. And Woobat, we're gonna switch to Cornelius. Cornelius can deal with Woobat better. So, go Cornelius. Let's do nature power and see what- oh. Well, I, I was thinking, oh hey, we'll turn into- of course, Gust, of course. Well, we're gonna use foul play because dark against psychic should work. There we go. I gotta remember, out here, Teddy Ursa. Um, let's go ahead and just switch back to you, why not? Ryu is my starter and should probably get priority when it comes to training, is my thought process. There's Tidiersa. And let's do Cut. Ah, uh, fake tears. <laughs> Tidiersa is cute, but alas. Goodbye, Tidiersa. And we got money! Good. So that didn't do too horribly. Are you gonna fight me? Yes, you are. It's best to use what you've learned in order to master it! Okay. Hopefully I have learned a lot from losing Pokemon over and over again. Okay, a Whooper. I can deal with a Whooper. Level 16! That's a little stronger than we've normally been dealing with, but... Should be okay. There it goes. Alright, got some experience. Taylo. Hmm. I feel like foul play will hit better. 
Foul play will probably hit harder, so Cornelius. Talos scares me, because it is flying against two grass types. But foul play will hit harder. I got a quick attack too, I'm just not using it. There we go. Lotad. Um, why not keep battling? Why not? Let's do another foul play. Just to hit hard. Water gun? That will do like nothing. And a quick attack. Goodbye, Lotad. And she's thinking the C dot. Um, let's switch battling. Let's switch to Ryu. So good job, Cornelius. Go Ryu! I am very scared about what the future could hold for this. I am... So far, I feel like these two are an okay team. They're both fairly strong. Earthquake! Fun! Good thing I switched to my fully healed Pokémon. And goodbye, C Dot. What can you learn by losing? I thought there's a Eureka something something. I missed what most of what she said. I feel like it is going too fast. Found an awakening. Okay, what do you have to say, kid? I was just thinking about a new battle strategy! Okay, school kid. Yep, school kid Edgar. All I can think of now is that uh, the guy from the Aristocats who made that thing is like creme de la creme de la Edgar or something. Intimidate. Fun. Well, Twister does not use attack, it uses special attack. So, yeah. Oh, there goes a spark. Anyway, Twister once again. Will you twist? There we go, level 22. Okay. Nuzleaf. Um. Small part of me is like saying, I should send in my own Nuzleaf. Look how bad he's- look how bad Cornelius is doing. Um, let's heal- let's heal Cornelius. Uh, we have potions we can use. So let's go ahead and use a potion. Razor Leaf won't really hurt at all. Um, Twister. Yeah. There we go. Foul play! Hits hard. Oof. I don't like that. I do not like that. But, if we just keep hitting first... Goodbye, Nuzleaf! Okay. Luxio. Okay, now, let's switch to Cornelius. Oh, Luxio. That's a fun act. That's a fun Pokemon actually. I really do love Luxio. Intimidate. Well, we do have Nature Power, which I believe will turn into yes. Goodbye, Luxio. Oh, look at that. Uh, let's just keep battling with Cornelius. It's a lombre. Okay, just fake out won't really do anything after the initial foul play. Up one, two. Just two times? Okay. Foul play. Goodbye, lombre. And hey, Cornelius leveled up! Good job, buddy! Once they're low kick! Oh, yes! Yes! Uh, let's get rid of quick attack. Low kick is gonna be so good. We've our low kick! 
A new battle strategy only works if you stick with it. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. Let's go heal up. Okay. What do you have to say? I should have brought more Pokeballs. A Pokemon I wanted to catch just came out and I missed it. Oh, that's a shame. Hi! I have some questions for you. If you want to play, which do you prefer? Outside or at home? At home. I see, I see. Then, which one are you interested in? The thing everybody knows, or the thing nobody knows? Uh... I'm very curious why you're asking these questions. A lot of stuff I, I, that I enjoy tends to be, like, slightly more obscure. But, um... Sure. Oh, really? I'd say you're quite relaxed! Yeah, that's probably true, aside from the crippling anxiety I get all the time. But either way... Ah, uh, here we are, in the Cream City. Alright, don't fight me! Don't fight me! Please don't fight me! Come with me a sec. Okay, I'm just following you. Uh, Pokemon Center? Oh, thank you, thank you! <laughs> if you go straight from here, there's a Pokemon Center. And use these if you want. Sunstones? Like more more than one sunstone. Why? I don't know. A sunstone's requirement for evolving certain Pokemon. There's several species around this city that can use it. Oh, and another piece of advice. The Korean City's gym leader uses normal types. If you have a fighting type Pokemon, it might give you a big advantage. Oh thank you, Charon! That was so good. Thank you. I was like so scared he was gonna fight me, but no, he led me straight to the Pokemon Center. Let's go heal up. Alright, yes, yes. Hope to see you again too. Hi trainer, do you know a Pokemon called Audino? It's a Pokemon that I sometimes find when I'm walking. It jumps out of rustling grass. I can get a lot of experience points. It's kind of a friendly Pokemon, isn't it? When you choose help at the PC at Pokemon Center, you can learn many things. It's so cool! Okay, and what do you have to say? I heard that fossils in the museum were found in Twist Mountain. Then, a person called Clay apparently donated them to the museum. Okay, so we can get fossils at Twist Mountain then? Hello. The Crane City is a highly fashionable and admired locale. Contrary-wise, if you happen to be a bit ordinary, here that's cool in its own way. That's cool. Let's see, just walking along the tracks. There's something on the other side. Hi. Even though it's just an old warehouse, it's become so popular. It makes me take a second look at what I think things are worth. Uh... What, what exactly is it? That warehouse. They're selling something good inside. Oh, they're selling something? This one? Hi. I started a shop in this warehouse. Welcome, may I help you? What are you selling? Ooh. I, these are all expensive, but they look so useful. I shall come back. I'll come back at some point. Dire Hit? In Unova, it's called Dire Hit. Huh? No difference? Anyway, in the battle, it's a very powerful it's very powerful when a move is a critical hit. And what do you two have to teach? Okay, you're just doing DS wireless communication, aren't you? So okay. That's what these guys are doing. We've got this other warehouse over here. Anything special? That thing you have is a Pokemon. It's a Pokedex, isn't it? Wow, cool! You collect Pokemon! Okay, I'll help you. Which Pokemon did you choose at the beginning of your journey? I chose Snivy. Do you have Snivy? You have Snivy! Then I will give you this. When you let your Pokemon hold it, it can raise the power of Grass-type moves. Yes, give it to me. Thank you. This will be so good. A lot of items have effects when Pokemon hold them, so try to find them! Well, work hard to, work hard to fill up your Pokedex! Good luck! 
Berg used this warehouse until two years ago. When Berg gets artist block, he comes back here to the Queen City. Berg is an artist, and also the gym leader in Castelia City. We want to be like him. He sounds pretty cool. I'm not really much for the city life, even though I grew up really close to Chicago. But I mean, good for you if you- Ah, uh, the accordion. I come up here and I can hear it already. How do you like the sound of accordions? Okay. Welcome to Cafe Warehouse, a stylish cafe in a rural area. The Triton City gym leaders are a great triplet combo. The grass type user Silent chooses great tea leaves. The water type Pokemon user Crest prepares the best water. And the fire type Pokemon user Chili pours hot water at the right heat. No wonder their tea is the best. Huh. Do you know about the Battle Box? I heard that there's a useful function you can use at the Pokemon Center. I do wonder, like, what is this place for? This cafe has a special on Wednesdays! Well, today is Tuesday, and I'm not gonna be- I'm probably not gonna be playing this on Wednesday. Oh well. So, something about a Wonder Launcher... I don't- I'm not doing wireless play here. Well, okay. I do think, if I go past... I kind of wanna see- I kinda wanna see... I keep saying I kind of want to see, but over here I'm probably going to get killed. I haven't- I have not been recording for that long, have I? I mean, technically I have, but most of that is like a montage sort of thing that's going to be that here. Uh, who are you? Yo, traveling trainer! Are your Pokemon getting stronger? Here, this might come in handy! I obtained Rock Smash! Well, that's cool. Rock Smash is a move that sometimes reduces your foe's defense stat. It is super effective against normal type Pokemon, which gym leader Lenora likes. Well... Down here, I should probably start trying to catch a Pokemon. She's gonna battle me. Or not. If I talk to her, she'll battle me, I think, actually. Okay, I knew there was an item over here in Ether. Ether is useful. Okay, let's see if I can find something around here. Okay, what do I catch? Timber, a fighting type. Okay, Ryu. Uh, Ryu, I want you to... Uh, Twister. Don't kill it, but... Okay, okay. Low kick, okay. We'll do another twister. Okay, I think I can catch it. So let's go ahead and, um, Pokeballs. Let's use a great ball. Because it's great. We're gonna get a timber. I mean, there's other Pokemon I like more, but I never really used a Timber, I think. Uh, let's see. I'm, I've already got a name in mind. Rim Tim Timmy. I recently discovered that uh, some of the people in Star Kid do a thing called like Rim Tim Timmy's Fun Time Hour. So Rim, I don't think it'll all fit. How about just Rim Tim? Oh, it's a, it's a girl. Oh well, I'm still gonna go with Rim Tim. Ah, hang on. Rim Tim. Cause why not? It's just the first thing that came into my mind. Uh, why I- I was trying to hit- Are you going deeper into Pinwheel Forest? Or to the Challenge Rock? Either way, unless you are tough, you'll just be rooted to the spot. Well... 
I should be tough enough to beat two Pokemon that I think are more mostly healers. Happeny. Okay. Bew, I'm gonna go ahead and just do Leaf Tornado. Go ahead and do that. Yep. Hey, everything went okay. Let's do Cut now. I guess you have higher attack than... I'll have to double check. Anyway, an Audino. Let's keep battling for now. And let's use Cut once again. I should try and use Leech Sleep. Let's use Leech Seed, actually, right off the bat. Just so we can get some gradual health. This thing has a lot of health, so it can heal us a lot. Attract! Fun! Okay. Well. You can still fight, or not. Ah, that's a lot. Stop it. There we go. At least we can heal up very quickly and easily. Audino does give a lot of help. I would have Rimtim fight, but let's just send out Cornelius instead. Leech Seed is still active, yeah? Should be. One, two, three. Stop it. Okay, four times. Yep, Leech Seed. There we go. Still got it. Alright, let's do a low kick. There we go. Exactly what I was hoping to use. Oh, that's a lot of experience. Phew! Okay, yeah, I, I was like, oh yeah, they did a lot of experience. That is a lot of experience. Tough trainer, I will make your Pokemon healthy. Well, thank you. That is very kind of you. Around, Pinfu around Pinwheel Forest, many Pokemon use moves to inflict problems such as poison and paralysis. If anything happens, let me know. How deep into Pinwheel Forest can I go? Not very far, it would seem. If their Pokemon are liberated, trainers will no longer be trainers. I'm, I'm out of here. Let's see. Uh, because she healed- because she healed us, let's check out Rimtim. Let's see what Rimtim can do. Rimtim has Leer, Focus Energy, Bide, and Low Kick. I want to give Rim Rimtim Rock Smash as well. Let's give them some Rock Smash. So where is that? It's this one, yeah? Okay. We will use Rock Smash. Contains Rock Smash. Yes, we shall teach it to Rimtim. Alright, which one should be forgotten? I don't like how by you have to get hurt to use it. It scares me, so I'm getting rid of by. So, there we go. Brim Tim is now more capable of... Oh. Okay, I kinda wanna switch to have Brim Tim at bleed right now. In case that's an auto know. Okay, what is this? Audino? Yes, it is. Level 17. It might hit hard. We're only level 15. I do not want to risk anything too much. So, Cornelius, you are up. Is it going to double slap a lot? Attract. Well. Hmm. Low kick. Nope, it's not gonna work. Okay. Snap out of it, dude. It's slapping you. Stop. Let's just use low kick. Ah, come on. If I get killed by an Audino, I am going to lose it. 
Look how much health that took out in like two moves. Okay, you know what? Rim Tim, it's your turn. You can do it. Yeah, refresh won't do anything. We are going to use low kick. Doesn't affect. Here we go. All right. We'll use Rim Tim. Good job. I am so impressed with you, Rim Tim. One more low kick. And goodbye, Audino. Hey, Rim Tim is now level 16. We've earned Rock Throw, yes. Let us get rid of. Uh, let's get rid of Leer, I think. Okay, and we've learned Rock Throw. Cornelius is now level 23. Uh, will you heal us again? Thank you. Audino is no joke. Anyway... Um... Hmm... So, I guess that this is technically Room to, to Me's fun time hour right now? I don't know. I feel like that's probably what I'm gonna title this episode. Room Tim to Me's fun time hour, I don't know. Rimtim is a really good Pokemon so far. <laughs> Why are they? I, I'm just laughing at myself for the choice of name. Rimtim. Okay. So, Pokemon you get through trades grow up fast, but be careful. If a traded Pokemon grows up too much, it won't listen to you. But if you have a lot of badges, you'll be okay. Oh my! What a lovely trainer! What kind of Pokemon do you have? Oh, your Timber. It's a little bit friendly to you, something like that. Oh, this is a friendship checker. Um, let's see, how is Ryu with us? How are we with Ryu? Um, oh my, okay. Oh, you're Servine. It's very friendly toward you. It must be happy with you. Oh, that's so good. And what about Cornelius? We haven't had Cornelius for long, but Cornelius is doing quite well, so I do want to know. Your Nuzleaf. It's very friendly towards you. It must be happy with you. Alright, that's good to know. So, Rimtim, back at the front. You are going to be very useful. Hi! Do you have a Pokemon called Shroomish? Would you trade your Shroomish for my Ponita? I do not have a Shroomish, but if I did, I would take you up on that because I do not need any more grass types and I would love a fire type. It's okay if you don't want to. I do want to, but I just don't have one. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm a little nervous to like continue through the city because I know if I get close to the gym, N will show up and fight. Okay, the gym is up here, so don't want to get too close. Let's check out the other buildings. I am a poet. I write poems. Every day I stretch my imagination and devote myself to my creative activity. People dream when sleeping, but if a Pokemon dreams, I cannot even imagine how it is. Even the same kind of Pokemon can have different natures. That's that's because different have different personalities. Are you playing the guitar? I play the guitar and have Pokemon battles every day. I keep doing that because I enjoy it. Let's head up back over to where the accordion dude is. I just love the music in this game. I, my, I've already mentioned this before, back in Accumula, but one of my favorite things about this game and the music is when you can find people that are like adding instruments to the music and it's just so good, so enjoyable. Right here we have an accordion. Yeah, I think I might actually wrap this episode up here. So, 
If you enjoyed watching this episode, please go ahead and hit the like button and leave a comment down below telling me your thoughts. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay safe out there, friends.